is going to be a quick overview of my gaming PC. Sorry if the video is a bit shaky, but I'm filming this on my iPhone. Uh, just because of the LED flash, it's very strong and it's a dark place here. So I'll straight start straight into it. We've got two DVD drives, one of them SATA, one of them IDE. IDE mainly because it works better with the Mac hack. So I've got two DVD drives there, both uh, dual layer, light scribe, and that's the other alternative, whatever it is. Uh, I've got a fan controller in here. The first two control the water cooling fans, and then the other two are case fans. Shows me the temperatures and stuff, and I can change it and keep an eye on the two fans and all that stuff. Down here, it's got a small fan cooling the metal grills around here. doesn't do a lot, but I had it sitting about, and it fits in and control it with the fourth controller, so it's easy enough to use. Taking the front panel off here, we've got another big fan in here. This is probably the one of the main um, inputs for the case. Now, my my case has changed since I got the water cooling, the Corsair 860. You might have seen in my other uh, video tour video. Um, at the side here, I'll show you. I've got a intake fan here. That's a really good fan. Just Stickle Take Pro. It's by Cooler Master, as far as I know. Up here we have LED lights just to give it a nice effect. Taking the side panel off here. And I'll show you inside the case. So straight away inside the case here, this is my tape suction uh, that takes the, uh, the hot air out of my case. It's a thermal take fan. Came with the big Type 120. That's a Cooler Master intake fan. It has a really nice blue light effect. It's not too visible on camera, but it looks great to the eye. That's my Corsair 860 water cooling. The reason why I've got I got two of them is for the dual fans. Um, I mean, because it only comes with one fan and they're high pressure, so I got another one for the fan. That's the it installed there. It helps me reach really good overclocks. Uh, my motherboard's a P5ND. It's SLI motherboard Asus. That's uh, just a wee fan on the chipset there. Down here we've got my graphics card. It's a very good card. It's overclocked as well. I've got custom BIOS running on it, which I flashed uh, just a couple of weeks ago to the XFX um, XXX edition, which is really high overclock opposed to the standard. Um, I'll show you on the PC itself after this quick video of inside. But that's the GTX 280. It's a nice card. It gets really hot, but it's a nice card. Underneath there, we've got my Siren card. It's an Asus D1, I think. Asus D1. It's uh, also a uh, quite a good card. I'm happy I bought it because it helps me record at high quality and stream for a Radio D. There, we've got my RAM. We've got six gigabytes. Uh, Corsair and Patriot. Uh, the Corsair is high end. They're I think they're both overclocked as well. Uh, we have a blue fan cooling it a bit there. Um, above here we have my XFX power supply. This is a really high-end component. Cost me a lot of money, but it's the XXX edition, 650 watt modular power supply. It looks fantastic, and it really keeps my graphics card getting clean power. Um, then here we've got the two hard drives, both one terabyte. This is a Western Digital Caviar Black. And then underneath we've got the latest edition, which for the Mac we've got a Samsung. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there's a screw. It's off my hard drive bracket. We've got a Samsung uh, terabyte as well. Then there's two more places for two more hard drives, such as a backup drive. That's inside my case. Hope you enjoyed. So that was inside my case. But it's it's all about the performance, so I'll show you the specs on the computer. Right now, I think I'm running my Mac. So I'll have to close this, sign out of my Mac here. And I'll go on to Windows to show you the specs. So I'll just select my Windows partition here.
and I'll go into screen recording program so you can get the full quality. Okay, so welcome to my desktop. This is going to be just a quick video to show you some of the clocks and some of the speeds I've been getting. So we'll dive straight into CPZ or CPU ID. This is the speed. I've overclocked it to 3.73. It's stable as well, which is the best thing. Uh, done Prime 95 for a good five hours, and it was perfect. So 3.73 gigahertz is what we're getting there. Um, over with, that's my motherboard, just if you're wondering. Memory, we've got six gigs, um, dual channel memory. Uh, I think that's all good. Um, there's the first Corsair, then we've got two there in dual channel, as far as I know. And then we've got four gigabytes of the other uh, Patriot memory. And there's my graphics card, the GTX 280. That's the standard. The standard clock uh, for the GTX 280 is 600, but I've got a custom BIOS on mine. So if I just open this up, I'll show you what it is. It's the XFX Extreme one. This isn't an XFX card. Um, my GTX 280 is the standard edition, but I've got it. The custom BIOS flashed onto it, which I've done myself. So we're getting 670 megahertz and uh, 1250 for the memory and 1458 for the shader, which is great. And all that good stuff is uh, enabled. Um, that's fantastic. I mean, I can see a big difference, honestly, when I'm doing benchmarks, and it comes up as an XFX sub vendor. Uh, the temperatures are all right. My case isn't the best. It gets really hot because of um, the overclocks and stuff, but I'm doing my best to keep them the temperatures down, uh, such as running things like uh, the water cooling and stuff like that. Uh, if I open up AI Sweep, I'll show you a wee bit more information, just if you're interested. Just this is my computer, so thought I'd show you everything I can. There's set three point seven three zero percent usage. I'm record um yeah there we are. It's going across. I'm recording in full H D on Camtasia Studio, which will take a good wee bit out of it. But um the system's pretty decent. Forty seven degrees, forty nine degrees, it'll probably bounce about a bit and just remember the CPU fan there, the reason why it's so high is because that's actually the water cooler pump. Um that's the speed the water's traveling at or something. I'm not exactly sure about that. Um, if I go into my uh, system properties, I'll show you what I'm getting. 3.73 gigahertz, we're getting uh, 7.3. The 5.9 is the highest you can get without going solid state, as far as I know. So the hard drive's good. 7.3 in the gaming graphics and 7.3 in the processor. So that's definitely a pretty successful um, score. I mean, without going Core i7, um, the fact that my graphics card doesn't do DirectX 11, I think that's a great um, all-rounder there. Um, I don't have much else to show, so this is my computer, basically. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any more requests for me to do benchmarks or whatever, be sure to leave them below. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe. It's been downtown.